Hi there. The physical handling of items received at the company warehouses can be managed and recorded in different ways, depending on the level of warehouse management features being utilized within Financials for Office 365. Here you receive the items on the basis of source documents, plan cross docs, and post your item receipts when your warehouse is set up to require warehouse receipt processing with warehouse documents. Under certain conditions, you can also create put away instructions for zone and bins. Within financials, you use the warehouse receipt to post the items you receive at the warehouse to the item ledger. When items arrive, you retrieve the lines of the source document that triggered their receipt and fill in the quantities of the items you have received. If you have bins, you can also record the receiving bin where you've placed the inventory. When you post the receipt, you either create a put away instruction or make the receipt lines available in the put away worksheet depending on how your warehouse is set up or it simply is received. Let's see the creation of a warehouse receipt from a purchase order and explore the features within this warehouse process. Usually you can search for a warehouse receipt in the search function if you have been set up as a warehouse employee. If you're unfamiliar with how to be set up as a warehouse employee worker, watch the how to set up a warehouse employee video from the link in the description. Since we are here in the Warehouse Manager Role Center, we can choose the warehouse receipt from the navigation pane or the activity tiles here on the dashboard. Let's go to a purchase order and create a warehouse receipt directly. This purchase order has been assigned to the blue warehouse location. This location requires receipt of goods and nothing else. In the lines table, we can see that there is 12 goods to be received. On the right is the vendor shipment number from the purchase order, as well as the sorting method. This organizes the order of the warehouse receipt lines, stating the order of goods to be processed. When manually populating a warehouse receipt, you can use the get source documents function in the ribbon to view released purchase orders for this location and organize the purchase order lines accordingly. If you incorporate put away picks and shipments within your warehouse process and wish to not store the inventory within your warehouse and instead immediately ship the goods, you can utilize cross docking. Now, once you are satisfied that the receipt of goods is up to your required standards and expectations, you can post the receipt like so. Positive ledger entries are created reflecting posted purchase receipts of inventory from this vendor. And the items are ready to be put away in the warehouse. And the items are ready to be put away in the warehouse or are simply located within your virtual warehouse or in this case, are now in storage and ready for both internal and external use. If you have any questions while using Financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for a Windows-specific help page. If you want help with a field, click on the caption. Or a column, click on the heading and select help like so. Now that's how you use the warehouse receipt.